Where are you at? Ivan O'Gorman Bike Fit Studio. You're not in Tucson anymore? No longer. I'm having trouble breathing with this mask on, to be honest with you. We are in Niwot, Colorado, with Ivan O'Gorman doing a bike fit, checking in on all the bikes. And we are on our way back home to Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Been, it'll be when we get home, five months since we've been home. Power and my power in 16, I'm pushing, pushing less power at the same weight as him. Now, power meter differences, blah, blah, blah. Let's just say we push the same then. And I was, I was, this was the position wherever. I know. So it's like, does it really matter? That's the bike though. That's definitely the, uh, no, that's not the bike. It's the darker green. Um, and then, uh, and then add to that another 14 days of self isolating. So I'll be back out in the real world on August 1st, hopefully, if all goes well. And uh, reason for going back, I mean, I absolutely love Tucson. Nothing bad to say about it in any way, shape, or form. Um, but I miss my family, and so, you know, originally we were holding out, hoping, because, you know, originally that, that Lubbock race was on the schedule at the end of June, and so we were like, Okay, so if Lubbock goes off without a hitch, then hopefully races will be back maybe end of July, early August. And we all know uh, that that's not happening. And so they're already like, you know, even as early as a week ago, I was like, well, maybe I'll do Ironman Chattanooga. And that got canceled. That's the end of uh, September. So, um, you know, I can't really, I'm not gonna hold out all year. I'd like to go see my family and so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go home, get back to the, get back in the endless pool. That'll be fun. Get some mirrors and stuff. Definitely could use a little technical analysis. I got my weights there too. All the gyms are closed uh, at the condo and at the, the community center. And I would like to lift some weights, do some squats and stuff. So I got my own gym. I mean, I have the absolute perfect gym at home for, for COVID-19 uh, stay at home type stuff. So. So I'm excited to get back home, do that. And then if racing does come back on the schedule, then I guess we might be able to come back. I don't know um, how, but we might be able to come back and do some of the races. And if not, then I think I'm going to uh, try and go for the Canadian one hour velodrome record. as something fun to pass the time and something, a new challenge, something I don't know if I can do something that'll require me to become a better time trialer, something that'll, that'll require me to hone my equipment choices for a really fast time. And then I'm assuming um, it can't hurt becoming a, you know, 400 plus watt, one hour TT position guy. Which is a completely standardized thing. And in order to go for that record, I do have to abide by UCI, um, whatever, rules. And that is a further amount of standardization. So, so that would be fun. And then it's a friend of mine, Ed Veal, who holds the Canadian record. I think it's about 48.6 or so. Um, and so, you know, it'd be fun to, to try and go for that. And I have no idea if I could or couldn't do it. It's fun to do challenges that you don't know if you can do. And so, and plus it's just a whole new world for me, the velodrome. I've done some testing on the velodrome. And I know I can get into the 48s and 49s just from when I was doing testing. I was up there at 360, 370 watts without giving any consideration to a track bike position or anything. So um, on the other hand, holding it for an hour is a lot different than holding it for three or four minutes. So, so yeah, that, that just sounds like a lot more fun to me. And then in the long shot that the, that the Daytona Speedway race happens in December, then being in phenomenal 40K velodrome TT position, I'm sure would cross over nicely to phenomenal 80K Daytona Speedway position uh, power. Um, and then just to finish off the video, what can we expect in regards to your content as far as you're probably gonna be pushing a uh, tubeless tire video? Kind of just how, how's your content looking right now? And then Well, as you know, unfortunately, uh, without racing. Racing makes up a big part of our, of what we do. So I think, 
I, for me, I've realized I need goals. I can't just train. I got into this because I enjoy setting goals and I enjoy achieving them. And so it took me a while to figure out, you know, we did a couple of KOMs and eh, so condition dependent, not that, I mean, you know, much more enjoyable to do something more standardized. And so, so for me with uncertainty, well, I'm gonna bring a little bit of certainty and that's, I can just rent the velodrome and, you know, make sure that it's gonna be rented at this time on this day and go there and, and go, for the, go for the time. And of course, you know, I start learning and stuff and thinking and obviously the new fastest world times are at altitude. And so a lot of people are like, oh, you can't, there's no way you can, you can do a big record at, without going to altitude now. But I'm not, I'm going to try and go for the Canadian record, which is set on the velodrome that I would do the record on. So everything is the same. So it would be a lot of fun. And so that will give me stuff to think about, stuff to create content about. And so that's what I hope to do. And then also with that Daytona race being in December, then it also will require me to get my swimming into good speed form, as well as my running into good speed form. And so. That race actually has a chance at happening because A, it's like a private place, and B, you could do it as a professional. It is a professional only race, um, which you can abide by all social distancing guidelines and that sort of thing. And so, so that race of all the races has a chance of happening. I mean, doing an Ironman, unfortunately, 3,000 people, I don't know what mayor or governor is going to allow that to happen in their city right now in America. I don't know about in, in Europe, maybe things are different over there, but in America I just don't see that happening anytime soon. So uh, I got to take matters into my own hands and that's what I'm going to do and it gives me something to do and I would get satisfaction out of going to the velodrome and giving an all out hour effort and whatever the time is, the time is, I will know that I gave my best and trained for it and honed my position in my equipment. Sure, yeah. I mean, if you haven't noticed, uh, there's not much to make videos about right now other than I can maybe show you me eating breakfast and lunch and stuff, but that'll get boring pretty quickly. So, um, so you know, if you have any ideas of stuff you'd like to see, of course, you can, uh, considering that those are the things I'm preparing for, probably not preparing for an Ironman. Um, then, then send them over and we'll, we'll try and create stuff. Also keep in mind that unfortunately Talva is not able to come to Canada right now. So this is going to be uh, me with the GoPro stick uh, filming videos. So they're probably gonna be horrible. I'm just kidding. My beautiful girl, uh, wife uh, films them and she does a great job. So they'll still be of great quality. Um, but uh, they might not have all that artistic flair that Talva brings to the table. And are, just to cut it out now, are you going to Everest or not? <laughs> I'm not Everesting, no. <laughs> it's cool. In Windsor, there is nowhere to Everest, unfortunately. You literally would be, I would think, nearly impossible to do an Everest. That would be a really interesting challenge is could you even do an Everest? Because the hill is like 10 meters of gain at most. So it would take you like, um, how many is that? 800 times up the, 880 times up the hill, something like that. I don't know if it's possible. So this video today is just gonna be a montage of the first half of the year in Tucson, one of my favorite places in the world. And hopefully we'll be back with some, uh, some more training style content from the basement in Windsor, Ontario.